Hey everyone, uh, out here in the chicken coop today, I wanted to share with you a little invention that uh, me and my daughters came up with here to uh, let the chickens in and out automatically. Uh, whether we're home or away, um, we can do it remotely anywhere in the world. Uh, it's also set up through Google uh, Assistant, uh, Amazon Alexa, as well as our uh, Samsung SmartThings uh, hub. So. Anyway, just want to give you a quick overview. When we looked online to try to find an automatic opener, uh, they wanted like, I don't know, $150, $200 for these openers that were, were pretty rudimentary, uh, pretty dumb, I guess, um, because they they were only based on a clock and you, you would have to set it up ahead of time. Uh, there was no way to really check on the status. So this here is actually using a um a water valve a smart water valve that you can buy anywhere we got this one on amazon i think for 24 dollars. and um the nice thing is it, it it connects to your wi-fi this is just a wi-fi version you can get actually actually this is wi-fi and bluetooth but you can get um all different sorts of these uh and we just added a long arm on the thing that is connected to a wire and that opens and closes this uh it's actually just a, a kind of a cookie sheet type thing that we had laying around um we built these little rails uh used the table saw just to cut a little slot in both sides and you can see it, it just the, the door slides up and down in them and then on the bottom here we have these just two screws that go ahead and, and provide a stop so that when that closes um there's no way for any sort of animals to get in uh, because they they don't have access to any leverage uh, they're just pushing against a smooth pan so i'll show you how it works um, you can activate it um, through Google. You can just say, hey Google, close a chicken door and it'll close it, um, same way with opening it. But right now I have it set up uh, through Google to just do it based on sunrise and sunset, which is nice because then it adapts to the time of the year. Um, so I have it opening um, one hour after sunrise and closing 30 minutes after sunset. And it does it automatically and it actually announces uh, through our Google Home uh, when it does it. So it'll say that the, the chicken door is closed or the chicken door is open uh, in morning and night. And you can set that up however you want. But uh, we just mounted it to a pipe here um, as if it was mounted to a water pipe in the house. But again, instead of mounting it to a water valve, um, we mounted it to this uh, kind of custom rod here uh, connected to this, this wire. So um, you can also activate it with the push of a button here. I'll just show you what it does. So you can see how that moves and it closes the door. And that is close. Um, and then from the outside, I'll just give you a look. From the outside, you can see uh, this comes down and, and closes and there's no way that any sort of animal can get in and they can't push up because uh, the screen, this wire um, meshes in the way and they can't push down. Um, it's all blocked off there. And they, of course they can't push in because it's, it's locked into those grooves. So we've been really happy with this. The chickens uh, caught onto this new door um, day one, actually. We went on a vacation for five days and we're able to, to check on them with our cameras and uh, they, they seem to uh, like it. So. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick um, idea. Maybe it'll, um, maybe it's of interest to you if you struggle with uh, opening and closing chicken doors all the time. Um, now the nice thing about this is uh, rain or shine, um, any time of the year, it'll just do it automatically. We don't have to be around here. And we still have, um, like I said, that little wise camera up underneath there. And the nice thing is uh, with that one wise camera, we can monitor the levels of our, our water, our food, um, and our, our chicken door um, from anywhere in the world. So it was, it was quite nice. We were down in, in out of state and um, we're able to check on everything and the chickens were able to go on their merry way. So anyway, I hope this gives you some ideas. Uh, maybe something like this will work for you. I think total cost, again, $25 for the, the uh, Wi-Fi um, valve opener and a cookie sheet we had laying around and uh, some scraps of wood. So pretty easy budget. The only limiting factor here is you do have to have power. So we already had an extension cord running out for our heated water. Um, so I just ran another one temporarily here um, just to get this working. But uh, long term, I, I hope to uh, wire it in permanently. So anyway, um, hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks. See you guys. Uh, one last thing I just forgot to mention before I stopped the video was uh, the opening. I, I, I demonstrated the closing, but I didn't demonstrate the opening. So um, I'll go ahead and do both ways just so you guys can see how it, how it works here. But uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Again, normally this all happens automatically from in, in the house or uh, through Google. 
um, but I'll just demonstrate how this works here. So that's in the closed position, of course. Um, and then um, these valves only actually open 90 degrees. Uh, they only swing 90 degrees and we, we struggled to find some Wi-Fi mechanism or some smart uh, device that could handle the, the kind of force that it takes to open and close a valve. So we actually initially built one using a little um, Arduino board. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the Node MCUs or ESP8266s with a stepper motor, um, but we ran into a lot of hiccups uh, trying to get the, the smart functionality, uh, the, the full autonomous working. So uh, for 25 bucks, it's easier just to go with these little um, off the shelf devices that do everything. But again, um, if you're in the house, you just say, you know, hey Google, open up the chicken door. Um, or it also happens, you know, automatically uh, an hour after sunset but you'll see that's opening that's swinging the 90 degrees in the vertical position and uh and opening the, the chicken door here and you can see this this girl's already going out so anyway hope this uh helps you guys out see ya hey guys i just wanted to take a moment just to give you a quick update at the end of this video on our chicken coop uh, i think it's been about a year since i did a quick video on it um since then we now have uh we actually have 11 chickens now uh, I think maybe the last time I did the video, we only had six, uh, but overall it's working really well. Um, the only other updates we did, of course, we did the automatic chicken door that you guys know of now, but we also added this um, bird netting over the top uh, just to, to try to keep the birds of prey out of here during the day. So now when they come out of their chicken coop, they have uh, open range inside this old dog run. I think it's like 32 by uh, 28 or something. Um, so that gives them at least some room to move around during the day. Uh, and then every once in a while we do still open up that back gate and let them uh, free range, but they really tend to destroy our flower beds and stuff pretty quickly. So anyway, just want to give you a quick update. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, and uh, if you're into this kind of stuff or DIY or um, interesting technology stuff, or I actually also grow some giant pumpkins, um, stick around and consider subscribing. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.